So one of the most frustrating things about the Nintendo Switch is its battery life. Well, I've got something that can take that life up to at least three times, coming up right after this. So it's no secret that Nintendo Switch owners know that their Switch can only give you about a couple hours of use when you're not docked in. Um, you know, you can turn on the brightness settings, turn on volume, or disable Wi-Fi if you're not in a connected area to kind of reduce some of that power. But nonetheless, it's still not where it needs to be. So this video is actually sponsored by Gullikit, and they are the manufacturers of this 10,000 mAh battery power bank. And it's actually pretty neat the way they designed it. And I'll go through some of the pros and cons, but here's what it looks like right up front. There are two ports in there. There's one that you can power, actually charge the power bank with, and then there's one that you can charge the device with. And of course, here's another cool thing about this. It's got this thing right here, which you kind of pop out like that, and boom, it actually has a USB-C type cable that you can use on your phone or you can use on the Switch itself. So design-wise, I think it's pretty good. It's feels pretty solid. Um, overall, it's not super heavy, but it's not super light either. I mean, it feels like it's pretty solid build quality. Now, the way this thing works is it also comes with this inside the box, which is essentially a mounting plate. And I'll tell you why I'm not a big fan of this mounting plate here in a bit, but this is what it comes with. And so essentially you take your switch, you take this, this goes into the two speaker ports right on the bottom, like that, and then it just clips on. There you go, you've got it clipped on. That's the mounting bracket. And this has a groove in the back, if you could see right there. And it essentially just slides on and clicks in and there you go, you've got your battery pack installed onto your switch. So before I get into the specs of how it performs, a couple of things I don't like about this right off the bat. So number one, it, it does add weight to the switch, right? Obviously you're putting a power bank on, but it's not as heavy as some of those big ones that are like battery case covers or whatever. So it still makes it playable. I mean, this isn't uncomfortable yet. Um, it's right on the border of if it was a little heavier, it would be uncomfortable. But my biggest gripe with this, honestly, is the fact that this covers the freaking speaker holes. Because it covers the speaker holes, the sound doesn't work very well. You could barely hear it compared to when this is not covered, obviously. The other thing is, which is pretty good about this, like I shared, is the actual power cord that comes out. And you can just put that right inside there and then you've got extra time to charge. And if you see, it's already starting to charge my console, which isn't bad. Now I noticed in about one hour's time, this does charge the console up to about 45 to 47%, which is right around the same that all major Nintendo genuine accessories are supported. I don't think this is an official Nintendo device. So with that, I'd say kind of use it your own caution. So far that I've been using it, I haven't had any issues where it, you know, bricked my console or did anything weird with it. The only major complaint that I really have with this is the fact that it covers the audio and it adds some weight to it. You can use it to charge a cell phone as well. You know, I've got a Note 8 that works pretty well with this and it does fast charge, so that's good. Um, out of the box, they do recommend that you charge this for you know overnight until it gets fully charged because it's probably not fully charged when you get it. And once you do have this fully charged, it does work. So I've been actually able to charge the Switch three times with this, fully charged, um, no exaggerations there, and I play it around, I, I keep my brightness actually on auto. So I don't know when it's at full, I don't know when it's like not as minimal settings, but obviously when I'm outdoors and my gaming sessions outdoors are very limited, maybe about 10 to 20% of the amount of times I play something that's outside, but the rest of it's indoors, either in an office setting or either here in my studio or anywhere else in my house. The packaging it comes in, like I showed you guys, is like this. It's a very modular design box, kind of your typical, let's have like a mailer style box, just open it up, oops, something fell out there battery comes inside this. It does come with two containers. One actually holds that mounting plate that I showed you guys and the other is an extra cable. So this is in case you don't want to do, you know, just uh, the built-in cable that comes with it. You can use this to charge one of your device or you can actually use this to charge the power bank itself. So if you use the USB type C port and you plug it in this and hook this up to your laptop or you hook it up to just a standard like wall adapter, it'll start charging the device. That's actually how I charged it. But then you can flip it around the other way, plug it in like, not like that, but like that. <laughs> and then you're good to go. It works pretty easily. So overall, I think it's a great product. It is $38.99 and that is my 
biggest gripe with this. There are tons of power banks out there on amazon.com that sell for around 25 to 30 bucks. Although I can't, you know, claim what their quality's like. What I can say that for $38.99, you are getting your dollar's worth. It does have a mounting bracket on it. It does have the ability to charge directly without any additional cables to your console. Um, you know, those are some good features. Is it necessarily worth 40 bucks to be very honest? I don't think so. And you know, the whole point of me saying that is because you can find a lot of power banks that are cheaper than that. Now, it, this would be a fantastic power bank if it, would right, if it was right around the 25 to $30 range. I think then it was a steal at that price. But for those of you guys who don't want something that's super bulky, that has the built-in cable to charge your console on the go, and that can give you that additional power for about, you know, another six to eight hours. I mean, the box says eight to 10, but, or actually eight to 12, but it, I guess you have to play it really low brightness to let it play it that much. Nonetheless, what I will say is that it's definitely worth a buy. If you're okay with spending the additional money, it's $38.99. I'll put the link in the description below for you guys to see. And um, pretty much that's about sums it. I think it's pretty solid, but it is a little bit pricey. So if you guys are okay with spending a little bit more to get a little bit extra quality and some you know good features that come out of the box with this, then definitely go for it. If not, then you've got plenty of other options, which I'll also link in the description below. But nonetheless, guys, I hope this was able to help you. I hope that you guys find this useful. If you do plan on buying this and you do, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. And if you think this content is good, as usual, leave a thumbs up. If you guys don't like it, as usual, put a thumbs down. Until then, I'll see you guys on my next one.